Hello, I am Takaharu Sakuragi in the laboratory of biochemistry and immunology. We are focusing on the regulation of phospholipid distribution at plasma membranes. In normal cells, phospholipids at plasma membranes are asymmetrically distributed. For example, phosphatidylserine exclusively localized to the inner leaflet, while phosphatidylcholine mainly localizes to the outer leaflet. This asymmetrical distribution is disrupted in various cells, such as apoptotic cells or activated platelets, and phosphatidylserine is exposed to the cell surface. Phosphatidylserine exposed on apoptotic cells works as an eat me signal for macrophages, while activated platelets expose phosphatidylserine as a scaffold for blood clotting factors. For efficient phosphatidylserine exposure, membrane proteins called scramblase that transports phospholipids non-specifically and bidirectionally should be activated. Two scramblases have been identified in our laboratory. One is TMEM16F, which is calcium-dependent scramblase and necessary for phosphatidylserine exposure in activated platelets and enhances blood clotting. The other is XK8 bashing complex, which is activated by caspase-mediated crevage or phosphorylation of XK8 C terminus. It supports phosphatidylserine exposure in apoptotic cells. Since the deficiency of scramblase leads to various diseases like bleeding disorder or autoimmunity, it is important to understand the molecular mechanism underlying phospholipid scrambling. And now, we are interested in how these molecules transport phospholipids. Recently, we determined the tertiary structure of excarate bashing complex. This structure together with mutational analysis, suggested that hydrophobic cleft harboring phospholipid could be an entrance or an exit of phospholipid. And the region with several charged residues placed from top to bottom like stairs inside the molecule seems to provide a pathway for phospholipid translocation. In addition to that, one tryptophan present between the phospholipid and the extracellular end of the pathway could work as a gatekeeper for phospholipids. In the future, we would like to determine active state structures and clarify the mechanism of phospholipid scrambling. 